Hey everybody, RC Tech Guy here. Uh, just wanted to uh, make another video. I've had quite a bit of flight time, I guess, on my new Pop Wing. And I just want to say I really love this plane. It's just really a great plane. And I, well, my last video, the overview video, just kind of um, showed you guys, you know, the overview of the plane and, and kind of what comes in the box and what my first impressions were of the plane. I wanted to... Um, go over a few things you know i've looked on the internet just to see what others may be modifying how they may be modifying their their pop wings and i've got the full scale wing i i, I don't and haven't flown uh, the mini pop wing and from what everybody says you know the performance speed and maneuverability of of the mini pop is if you will is uh, better than than the big pop wing but I was looking at also stability because I want to put FPV gear on this plane because they wings just really make a great platform for FPV and so I want to do that in the future and I'll detail that out for you guys. Uh, one thing you know since I had uh, oftentimes you know if we're not rich we have to recycle what we have on other planes and, and parts and whatnot that we uh, have going on. and. For those of you that have seen my videos, the the Hawk Sky, of course, and my uh, <clears throat> uh, modified Hawk Sky, uh, I had the Grayson Hobby uh, Microjet version three motor on that plane, and it just really turned that plane into an altogether different plane performance-wise. And I, and I thought, you know, um, I just want to try this on the pop wing, and. I also want to say on the pop wing, it is really a phenomenal uh, performance improvement over the stock motor. And I think I showed you guys last time, uh, the stock motor is this T motor. Uh, as you, if you can see that on the video, it's 12, the KV rating is 1260 KV. It's a 2208 uh, T motor. And out of the box, I mean, this is a, a great little starter motor. You know, I mean, it's it's definitely pushes the plane around pretty well, and you can do mild acrobatics with it. And you know, speed is is mediocre. You know, it's I'm not going to lie to you. It's definitely not a uh, a speed demon by any means. Um, so probably most of the advanced pilots out there, you're going to get tired of this motor and the performance that it provides so uh, you're going to take this motor and use it for another project um, but so basically what I did I just it took literally five minutes I took the motor off of the the Hawk Sky the microjet uh, the mount works perfectly lines up with the holes of course those are pretty common uh, six before APC pusher prop um, I want to show you too one, one thing I did of course, I had all of my uh, Microjet version 3 and the uh, ESC that I was using with that motor. I had Dean's connectors and all of my batteries. Uh, basically, I, I bought the, if I can find them here, I bought the Skylipo 1300 milliamp. I bought a couple of these from Hobby Parts when I ordered the Pop Wing because, you know, most of the videos call for a 1300 milliamp battery. Um, what I did also, since uh, I went to uh, the Microjet V3, I knew I was going to be draining a lot more power, uh, and I, I had read that others had, had put 2200 milliamp batteries on their uh, pop wings. So what I did was, and it was easy to do, with I just took a uh, razor blade and I cut these... Uh, notches out and just took some needle nose pliers and just kind of pinched the extra foam on each side and as you can see now I can take a, a 2200 milliamp battery apologize for the video work here uh, I can take a 2200 milliamp battery and, and sit it inside the uh, notched out battery area now so you know I go from 1300 milliamps of power to 1800 and I've got some 2200 milliamp uh, three cell uh, batteries here also uh, Grayson Hobby when I uh, had the bought the other microjet stuff uh, so that's one of the things I, I did do uh, when 
uh, put the microjet motor on there. One other thing I was going to show you, and I really didn't set out to do this uh, per se, but with the other prop, one thing that really happens a lot, even if you, what I found, even if you're power off and you come in and you don't hand catch this plane, this prop, and it's designed this way, uh, just so you're not bending shafts and tearing your motors up, is it you know uses these o-rings well this prop will go to one side the o-ring does its job it breaks loose and allows the prop to absorb uh, most of the impact of, of landing force or whatever you might hit but even off power this prop is going to be spinning you know if you've got any headwind or whatever you're coming into that prop is going to be spinning and one thing that has happened to my pop wing this used to be you know come flush with the I mean, it might have been notched out a little bit but come flush with the uh, this groove where my control surface for the aileron and elevons I guess uh, uh, are attached to the plane this looked really nasty after a couple of hard landings I had that I unintentionally you know crashed the plane in the prop went off of the uh, shaft on on the t-motor i'm showing it on the microjet but it's actually this t-motor and it gouged into this material on both sides so what i did is i took a razor blade and i uh, scored this out i cut a, a much deeper notch here and made it flush with uh, this angle here on the plane on both sides so really for aesthetics and i haven't seen any performance or lift degradation um so you know you guys can take that for what it's worth but with the micro jet i've got a a smaller prop i've got a six by four so and also it's on you know a full shaft with the collet and uh, retainer uh, set up here now the danger of this setup of course is that you have a very fixed very solid prop so you really have to watch how you come in I have been ever since not doing any ground landings, just hand catches, and you know I have missed a couple and, and it came down on the ground, but no power was on, so I haven't had any problems. And this thing is just a rocket. I mean, it weighs much less than the Hawk Sky I've got set up, had set up with the Microjet 3. And if you guys are looking for a motor, and a very much an upgraded motor from the stocks T motor 2208, the Microjet's just incredible uh, as far as performance. Uh, one thing I also did too, I had really, uh, I took one of the bad landings I was telling about that actually notched out this area, I actually took off part of my winglet here and so what I did is I took a, a razor blade. I couldn't find the piece of foam, and I, of course I would have hot glued that back in. Um, but I took a razor blade and I just scored that off even to make it look nice again. And just to make it uh, match the other side, I took the razor blade and I, I dished this in just a little bit to match up. And again, no performance degradation. And one thing I've, among many, that I've been very impressed with the pop wing, the glide slope on this plane is just incredible. If you've never flown a wing, you don't get the, when, when a wing stalls, you know, it just tends to float down. I mean, you get a little tendency to go one way or the other, if you're, especially if you're flying in wind um, or crosswind or what have you. But a wing just tends to basically float down, and I have been amazed. I can go from what looks like, you know, 60, 70 miles an hour with the microjet to full power off and basically come to a standstill in a headwind and ride the headwind. I mean, it looks amazing. It feels amazing. It's really fun. Uh, controls. Thing. I did have one of the bad spills. I had this kind of broke away and I did have to run some hot glue here. One other upgrade I, I failed to mention, I wanted to detail for you guys. This thing comes with three pieces of carbon fiber. Basically I put the one here where they say and the one here. So basically you got the two carbon pieces here. I actually split the other one in half. I just took some wire cutters, broke it, 
And because I, this is really a weak point of the plane, there's not really any substantial structure here besides your battery and the Velcro. So I put, I cut it in two and I put a piece of carbon there and a piece of carbon here. I just took a razor blade again, notched in here, forced the carbon in and glued it. And that really seems to have made this much more rigid up top, uh, which it needs uh, there. So that might be one thing you consider doing. Um, all in all, it's a great plane, and I hope to have some flight footage of this r upgraded Microjet uh, version 3 motor on the pop wing. So if you're looking for a really good replacement motor, there are many others out there, but I just happen to have the Microjet on hand, and I wanted to let you guys know it's just awesome for this plane.